Dude, my back physically just creased at that sound. What even is this? I don't think I've ever felt so uncomfortable over a sound than the actual video in my life. I mean, what is this even meant to be? A potato? <coughs> you ever just sat on YouTube and you get recommended a Nikocado avocado video and you're just like, I really don't want to be watching that. I would much prefer to watch Roblox cringe, which is exactly what happened to me the other day. I was just enjoying a nice cereal bowl, you know, as you do. And I just thought to myself, I'm going to watch some more Roblox cringe. And well, nothing could have prepared me for the type of videos I found. Sorry guys, I got a bit of an emergency. Um, I just plugged that into my phone to listen to it and my phone turned into a trash can, but for some reason it's on fire. So let me just go sort that out. Like the lyrics are just so bad. I don't even know what half of them even mean. Like seek them out now one by one. There's not really much to say about that. Dropping bodies like a nun. Like that just, that literally doesn't even make any sense. Like since when were nuns known for being gangsters and being known for dropping bodies? Two twin clocks named Bonnie and Clyde. Like, what the hell does that even mean? I bet whichever kid wrote this probably set his house on fire with the absolute heat he was making. And then just the, the final line is, slide through roofs like I'm Tom Cruise. How do you slide through a roof like Tom Cruise? What does that even mean? The comments to this are just arguably even more funny. I have heard your song so much, I can sing it. Well, yeah, it's four sentences. <laughs> Same, I know every word to it now. And then it's just, not gonna lie, this is fire. It's not really fire. Come on, get in the bin. It has 441,000 likes though. I mean, goddamn. But yeah, welcome back Game of Virgins. I hope you're all doing well. I just want to say a massive thank you for the support on the previous video like this. Didn't really think it would do as well as it did, but it's done amazing, so thank you. Go eat a table. But let's try and hit 2,000 likes again, can we? Maybe? I don't know. If we do, I'll legally adopt you. Also remember guys, please do not go and harass anyone in any of the communities that I talk about. In this video, we're talking about the Roblox community, so please do not go and harass anyone who enjoys Roblox. I don't support that and it's just generally not needed. These videos are just for fun. With all that being said, let's go watch some Roblox cringe. This one is captioned as voice reveal, even hashtagged as hot, and skincare 101. Not sure why, but let's watch it. Hey baby girl. Wow, let me just go change my pants real quick because the ones I'm now in just got really tight. I don't know if this is satire, but let's pretend it's not. Who sat in their room straining their voice like this? Hey, baby girl. Who would find this attractive? Imagine someone trying to speak to you like this and thinking they'd be loving it. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you do if someone tried to make their move on you speaking like this. Now, someone I found while looking for Roblox content was that a lot of kids love to tell stories, but they're like really bad and only kids would care about something like this. But just, just listen to this. My friend Kayla asked Sarah, what does good morning mean in Spanish? And then Sarah looks at us, looks back at her food and said, I don't know, I'm still taking Spanish lessons. And we just look at her that she doesn't even know what good morning means in Spanish. If she had lived in Spain for six years, she would have known what it meant. I think the funniest thing about this so far is that in the comments, the kids who watch these videos, they're just going absolutely crazy over a debate that if good morning means something different in Spanish than it does anywhere else. It's, it's so dumb. I don't know how, but that incident has spread around the entire school. Every person that walks past Sarah just says, Buenos dias, basically teasing her about not knowing what good morning means in Spanish. Wow, someone just get this kid some counseling because they will not be surviving high school with this kind of bullying. I mean, going to school already sucks. The last thing I'd personally need is for everyone <laughs> just saying buenos dias to me all the time. I probably wouldn't even care. Like most people would probably not care. I'd just turn around to whoever was saying it and be like, wow. I cannot wait to order a Big Mac from you 
working in McDonald's at the age of 40, you little pigeon. And then Sarah didn't show up to school for three days after that. And oh boy, we haven't even got into the crazy part. The three days pass and Sarah comes back to school. As soon as she walks into the class, everyone's eyes was on her. She came up, sat in her seat, and this lady showed up to school. Bruh, she really took three days out of school apparently because people kept speaking Spanish to her. The video just cuts off at the crazy part, but don't worry, I found the crazy part and I want everyone to know it is crazy. You might be thinking she turned up to class with a mariachi band or a full fleet of ships from the Spanish Navy, but no, it is very crazy. Listen to this. So after three days of Sarah not coming to school, she showed up in a crop top, skinny jeans, fake nails, and fake lashes. <sighs> and her hair was in a bun with edges. Oh my god, she turned up to school in a crop top? That's crazy. Someone sent her to the mental hospital and she turned up with hair with edges and a bun. I don't, <laughs> I don't really get what that even is. But yeah, I don't get why girls are always so mean to each other. It's so just unnecessary. Yes, you heard me, edges. This lady is white. And in lunchtime, she took out a bag of hot Cheetos and some dipping sauce. I don't know if this was supposed to make us think she's Latina, but trust me, it didn't work. Oh my god, what am I even listening to? She took out a bag of hot Cheetos and dipping sauce and everyone is thinking she's trying to be Latina. What? Shut up, get in the bin. I am done with that video, that is the stupidest thing I've probably seen in a while and I am not willing to lose any more brain cells over it, so let's just move on to the next video. What do I even say to this? When I was younger, people used to make edits of Call of Duty of them jumping off buildings and doing 360 no-scopes. Now kids are growing up on this. I guarantee no one watching these type of things are going to want to go down memory lane when they're older and be like, let's watch that epic Roblox dance compilation. Yeah, no one's going to do that. <laughs> oh damn, they got grandpa again. We saw this champ in the last video and I've got to say, I do respect my elders and I I appreciate that, you know, he's doing this for his kids and like, you know, it's a pretty wholesome moment. But this guy has probably had to go through some stuff in life. And well, if it's anything like the last video, let's just see what they have him doing now. Grandpa died cord locks. Bruh, if my grandkids ever made me dress like this and pretend I was missing a leg and whatever this is meant to be, you better believe I'd end up on some Netflix cold case files. I mean, I like I like how they zoom in on his prosthetic leg. They must have been really proud of that. <laughs> Not a flex, Wow, that is absolutely crazy. The girl's hashtag has been hashtag 78.8 billion times, is that? I'm not sure on the language or if that's how it actually is, but I'm unsure on how that's a flex. I can imagine a bunch of kids just sat around a table talking about how they're the superior gender because they have more hashtag searches on TikTok. That's how you value your worth, Gamer Virgins. I said it last video, but I'll say it again. You really can't find a fandom where there are not people just making weird content. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and want to see more content like this, be sure to like and subscribe. You can unsubscribe at any point. It is absolutely free. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all next time.